In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the pop-up effect, how something's popping out of the TV or popping out of the phone, or if you wanted to um, show somebody's fist smashing through a window or a wall. It just depends on how creative you want to get. Today, I'm just going to show you an elephant popping out of a TV. I thought that was something not too scary, right? But it gives you that whoa effect, and it pops, right, um, on a two-dimensional piece of paper. So it's kind of cool. We're making something two-dimensional into three-dimensional, and that's exactly what the pop-out effect is. So let's go ahead and get started. Go to Canva, www.canva.com. If you have a pro account, that's great. If you don't, there's a link below. I will show you, um, there's a couple things the pro account does that I'll show you a workaround if you don't have it, um, but you might not be able to do everything. So just know that going into this, I am using a pro account and there's a free trial below. All right, let's Let's go ahead and get started we the first thing that i did is i was looking for a tv and i went under elements and looked it up i'm not going to go take you through all that because that just adds a lot of wasted time for you but you can go over here and and type it in and like you just type in tv and a whole bunch of them came up and i'm going to show you what i ended up with i wanted an elephant coming out of a tv and this is what i looked for i'm kind of showing you the process of my thinking I wanted it to be angled like this at, at, at going to the side and I found this elephant. Now when I went and I went to take the background off of this elephant because I want him just to be the image, what you do is you're going to click the image and then go up here where it says edit and then hit remove background or background rem remover right here. What happened was that the elephant after all that background got removed, if you you can see as it's doing it, but what happened is um, right here on his feet, the grass was showing. So I didn't get a, a complete image with the whole background or everything removed that I want it removed. So as you can see there, it's showing and I didn't want that. So I thought, well, let me try to put some grass in the background. I thought that would hide it. But as you can see, it's just turning into a big, like this is just uh, getting too complicated. And that what I'm trying to show you is it doesn't have to be this complicated. If your picture isn't working, your idea, then go look for other pictures. What I did is we were looking over here at elephants. I went into elements. And you can get photos or you can go under here under graphics. I really wanted more of a photo of an elephant, a real live looking one. And again, I really didn't find what I was looking for. I wanted that elephant's leg to be able to be stepping out. So I went over to Google and I Googled elephants. And the reason I'm showing you this is because you can go in here and get a picture that you want. But again, I can't stress this enough. I'm showing this because I did take a picture off of here but I went under tools and then I went under more ah, tools and then I went under usage rights, sorry about that, and Creative Commons. Creative Commons means that you can use the pictures for free. And I did find the picture that I wanted in here. He had his leg up, it was a great big African elephant. I used him and I brought it back. I did find an elephant and I went ahead and removed the background. Now there's another way that you can do it is going to the site called Remove BG. You upload your image and select um, edit. And this is what I got, my big elephant. See how his legs coming up and there's no background and he's perfect. Again, you can do it either way, they both work. One is through Canva, one is through this other free account. So sometimes if you're in a hurry and you just need some photos, you can hurry up and, and do it through here. All right, let's go back to Canva and let's slide down. I found my TV that I wanted, a different one. And then I have my elephant. Now, one of the things I realized was I needed the TV to be on top of the elephant because I want to give it an effect of him climbing out. And so I had to have the rest of the photo behind the TV, if that makes sense. If part of your legs are back here and then you're reaching over, the original photo has to be behind whatever it is you're stepping over, if that makes sense. Hope it does. All right, so what I need to do, I have my image and I'm going to hit Control C just a minute that one's on top that's not what i want i want the elephant control c control v i'm going to move him over just a little bit put my tv back and this one ended up on top now notice it's the exact same size now what i want to do is get rid of these legs over here i don't want those showing i don't want those stepping out if that makes sense so actually i'm going to make it just a tiny bit bigger give it more of a pop effect. 
I can do that a little bit with this because he's a great big elephant and there's not a lot of detail. But I don't want these legs in the back. So what I'm going to do is bring this over like this. I'm going to bring that photo in and now I have the one in the back. See that? Here's my next problem. I got rid of the legs, but now my ear's not there anymore. So what I'm going to do is take a photo of the same, a copy of the same elephant here that I cut down shorter, okay? And I'm going to do the opposite with this one. I'm going to bring it back over, and then I'm going to bring it up. And now my ears will stay. See that elephant ear up there? Now it will stay. So this one took three different shots, and you can just do that. You can keep on um, making copies, just Control C, Control V. All right, over here, I wanted a child looking up at it, and I looked around, and again, couldn't find exactly what I wanted, so I ended up at Google again, and I will show you this picture that I brought in, and look at that, okay? Little, little The little girl there just um, looking like, whoa. That is your pop-up effect in a nutshell. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, just ask. But again, that's the easy part. The easy part is putting it together. It's getting your ideas together and finding just that right picture. And I have seen some creators do some amazing, amazing things. There's some really neat things. So this was uh, do the pop-up tutorial 101 for you beginners. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, comment below. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. You have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next video.